Now, symmetry is your, your side to side. Now, this is pretty much straight out of the tuning guide. And what they say is, you know, take your halyard, go measure from you know, so many inches back from the bow stem, and then <laughs> uh, so many inches back from the bow stem, and then you, you, you put your halyard down. And this is one traditional way to do it. I don't like this method. Um, and there's a couple reasons for that, because uh, as we talked about before, you're assuming that the boat builder made the boat symmetric to begin with. And, um, and we all know from experience that that's not true. Um, there's little differences. Um, our deck, I know for sure, is lower about almost an inch lower on the, uh, the port side than the starboard. I know that the mass partners, um, it's off center to the right, about a half inch or so. Um, so these are all just things that are built wrong in the boat. So every boat you have is, is not set up right that way. Uh, my thistle, first thing I did when I got the boat is I ran a line between the bow and the middle of the stern. I unscrewed the, the mast step and I put it back right in the center because it wasn't in the center. Yes? Right, the question was, what are you measuring this to? Uh, so we, when we talk symmetric, uh, this is the picture we had up before. But what we're trying to do is make the, the rig symmetric in the boat. Well, to what? You know? Are you making it symmetric to the keel, to the deck? What are you trying to do? So most people say that you want to do is line it up to the keel. And um, so what you're trying to do is make this line right from the keel or your centerboard right up through the mast. And so for the most part, it's really difficult to move the keel. It's a whole lot easier to move the mast to match the keel. And you know, boats are pretty round. You know, most boats are pretty round. So if you start with a keel, you're in a good spot. Um, if, as you see there, I, I said, is, is if shear line and chain planes are pretty inconsistent. What I like to do is take that photo. Now, one interesting thing here is um, I, I do have a debate with this with Kurt Barnes all the time. He likes, he says we should make the mass symmetric to the deck. And uh, particularly the jib tracks. He's like, he's like, you know, he just he actually put a level on the jib tracks and then hung some plumb from the mast, and thinks the whole keel thing is secondary. He's like, who cares if it's off just a little bit? I'd much rather, you know, once you set up the jib on one side, we tack. If you, if your deck's a little bit higher or lower where the jib is, um, so I, I disagree with him because I figure I can always adjust the the leads from one side to the other, but. To his point, we usually don't. We, once we get the holes right on one side, we just copy it on the other. So maybe he is right. So th there, there is some debate here. It's um, not black and white. But I would say most people, and Kurt isn't most people, so <laughs> <laughs> most people like to, to line it up with the, uh, the keel. Now, um, Lambo said something before. He, said, uh, he asked me, he said, hey, you know, when you roll into the parking lot, you know, how do you set this up so that it's even? And my answer was, I said, you should know exactly what even is long before you roll into a parking lot of regatta. You got to do this here in the parking lot. And in our case, we move the chain plates up so that we know if we count the number of turns, number of threads show, showing, we actually have a feeler gauge. And uh, when we do our, our shrouds are the same length and with the chain plate up a little bit, I know that when the shrouds are you know, the same number of threads showing or that little feeler gauge is at the same number, when I first set up the mast, all I do is get them even side to side. Very first thing I do, but I've already done this, you know, months and months ago. So when I roll into a parking lot, it's just, you know, a couple minutes. You're not taking a picture every time. You're not running plumb bobs up every time. So, and that should be true with your partners, everything else you do. Your, your base setting, you should be able to get to. And just, you know, once the rig's up, once you start hooking up shrouds, you should be able to get there. You know, five, ten minutes, you should be ready to roll. So the next thing is, um, you know, partners. You want to control. We talked about mass sag before, and the partners. And um, you know, we have all our shims in the right side of the mast. So the, the the partners where our mast goes through, our boat is is wider than the mast by almost an inch. And every single block we have is on the right side because that hole is off center by that much. So what's that? A half center, half inch off, right? Because it's whole inch on one side. So if we, we only have to move it back a half inch to get it centered. But um, the way we get that set up is now we, we've already done our thing with uh, taking the picture from behind the boat or your plumb bobs, whatever you're doing. And what we end up doing is um, we set the uppers to some very loose but have tension on tension. So, so it just barely shows up on the loose gauge, right? Maybe you know five, six, seven on the loose gauge, 10 on the loose gauge. And you already know it's symmetric side 
the top of the mass is already symmetric. Now you're going to look up your mass, and because it's unsupported in the middle, you leave the lowers, lowers off, and you just kind of let it, let it flop there. And you're going to notice it's going to be one side or the other just because it, it does. And what I do is I just move the mass back and forth until it's pretty straight. And in our boat, you've got to move it all the way to the left and the partners to make it work. 